Have you heard of this new drug called cheese? The Big Sick is directed by Michael Showalter and starring Kumel Nanjiani, Zoe Kazan, Ray Romano, and Holly Hunter. Before I go any further, I just want to say there will not be any plot spoilers in this review. This film is based on the peculiar real-life story of how actor and comedian Kumel Nanjiani and his wife Emily V. Gordon met. And what makes it peculiar is that they met, had a relationship, broke up, and then she fell into a coma, and this event really changed the life of Kumel Nanjiani. This film premiered way back in January at the Sundance Film Festival, and it got amazing reviews, a lot of positive buzz coming out of that festival, and I have been wanting to see it ever since, and I have to say, I really liked this film a lot. This film is a romantic dramedy. It kind of meshes all of the elements of a romance, a comedy, and a drama, and it does so, I would say, very well. There are a few issues I have with that, but I'll get to those later. I will also say this film does a lot when it comes to the thematic work. This film is dealing with a lot of personal themes, especially when it comes to modern romance and just kind Kind of finding yourself in the world and having to deal with a lot of personal baggage when it comes to adherence to certain familial traditions and coming from a unique background like Kumel Nanjiani does and being from Pakistan, he has to adhere to all of the things from that culture while also adopting a lot of the things that he has learned in the American culture and these two worlds tend to clash with one another and this film does a great job of portraying that kind of inner battle that he has to deal with. Kumel and Zoe have great on-screen chemistry with each other as well as their characters. They complement each other very well and their scenes together when they first meet are very sweet, they're very charming, they're very heartfelt and they also play on the idea of what a modern relationship is what modern romance is for a lot of young people today, it is different than generations past. And this film kind of comments on this. Also, this film deals with what it is to be a parent and what it is to be a family. This film touches on different familial aspects. When it is with Kumel, he has to deal with the tradition of his family, but he's also seeing another aspect of familial life in the parents of Zoe Kazan's character of Emily who are dealing with this very dramatic event of having their child be in a coma, being sick. And we also get a lot of great humor in this film. Some of the humor is probably not for everyone. I always say that comedy is probably the most subjective genre when it comes to film. Not everyone likes the same type of comedy, and this film has a lot of different comedy in it. It has irreverent humor, it has dark humor, it has light humor, it's all of those things mixed in. And I found myself laughing a lot throughout this movie. While I would say that the film uses tone very well when it comes to light and darker tones, I, I would also say that some of the transitions between those get kind of jarring at times. Sometimes within the same scene or within the same sentence that a character is saying, we get a tonal shift and me as an audience member didn't quite know how to react to that. I'm laughing at one point, but now should I be taking it seriously? But that is not something that detracts from the film too much. I will also say another negative aspect I have with the film is that it is kind of too long. This film does clock in very close to two hours, and towards the end of the third act, I really kind of felt it dragging along a little bit too much. I am going to give this film a rather high score of 4.3 out of 5 stars. It is that good of a film. It is an indie gem, I would say. Go out, see this, support indie films, because without our support, they kind of tend to fade away. So that has been my review of The Big Sick. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.